Have you ever wondered, when you look up at the stars in a clear night sky, whether life on another planet is looking back? On the face of it, the galaxy looks to be eerily silent. We have not detected any signs of life as of yet. However, the search for life beyond Earth is really only just getting started. Even within our solar system, it is now thought to be a possibility that life could have independently sprouted up in a few different places, such as Jupiter's icy moon Europa or Saturn's shrouded moon Titan, for example. But could there be a planet beyond our solar system where life has flourished, and where we might realistically one day be able to visit? Well, it turns out that planet could well be located right next door. A world similar in size to Earth that is orbiting the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri. And although it is likely being bombarded by radiation from its star, this neighbouring planet could still be a promising place to search for alien life. You're watching V101 Space, my name's Rob, and if you enjoy my videos, then remember to subscribe and tap the notification bell to never miss an upload. The star Proxima Centauri is an odd one by any measure. It is part of a triple star system where the two main stars called Alpha Centauri A and B are roughly sun-sized and orbit one another relatively close by. But Proxima Centauri is a small, long-lived, low-mass, cool-in-temperature red dwarf star that is so dim you can only see it with a powerful telescope. It is, however, the closest of the three, at just 4.2 light-years away from the Sun, and it is where at least three exoplanets have been spotted, two of which are confirmed and one of which is located within the habitable zone of the star, the region where it's not too hot or too cold, where liquid water could exist on its surface called Proxima b. It was first detected in 2016, and at the time it created a lot of buzz, mainly because of where it is located around its star, but also because it is roughly the same size and mass as Earth, most likely making it a rocky world. The hope and speculation at the time was that it might have an Earth-like atmosphere, the same raw ingredients and elements as our world, and most excitingly, perhaps even life on the surface. However, as further research was completed, it became clear that Proxima b, although sharing some similarities with Earth, is experiencing a very different path. Because Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star, around 14% the diameter of the Sun, it is substantially cooler. This means that despite being within the habitable zone, Proxima b is a lot closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, over 20 times closer in fact, making one year on Proxima b only a mere 11.2 Earth days. You might think that a smaller star would be a calmer star, but that's actually not the case at all. Red dwarfs produce violent solar flares a lot more frequently than the Sun does, because their nuclear fusion cores are much closer to their surface. This makes their surface much more chaotic, resulting in incredibly strong magnetic fields. In turn, those strong magnetic fields can blast intense high-energy radiation into the surrounding system. And because Proxima b orbits so close, it is likely being bombarded with space weather that is far more violent than what we experience here on Earth. Proxima b is also most likely tidally locked in a synchronous rotation, meaning that one side is always facing the star and one side is always facing away, much like our moon where one side always faces the Earth, for example. On Proxima b, however, this would result in half the planet being bathed in perpetual daylight, while the other half is in a never-ending frozen nighttime. The sun-facing side would be constantly exposed to high levels of radiation, and possibly even blasted with solar flares. 
In 2021, for example, a gigantic flare, around 100 times more powerful than any experienced in our solar system, was recorded blasting out of Proxima Centauri, and some scientists think these bright outbursts would slowly eat away at the exoplanet's atmosphere, if it does have one, and wipe out any water that may be on its surface. So, although Proxima b is within the so-called habitable zone, its close orbit to its small star means it might not be very habitable at all. It would need a thick atmosphere and a strong magnetic field that could hold its own against extreme radiation that is up to 500 times more harmful than what we experience on Earth. On the face of it, this type of environment would strip atmospheres, evaporate oceans, and fry DNA on any planet close to a red dwarf. Yet, it turns out that Proxima b might not be a dead world after all. Because Earth climate models are showing that rocky exoplanets around red dwarfs can still be habitable. Scientists using a supercomputer created various climate models in a 3D simulation, revealing what a planet's climate is like based on specific conditions and environmental changes. When they simulated the possible climates on Proxima b, they found that the exoplanet could still be habitable despite being tidally locked, with one side exposed to heavy amounts of radiation. With an atmosphere similar to modern Earth, and a strong magnetic field that deflects the extreme radiation it is being bombarded with, Proxima b may well be covered in an ocean that extends to the night side. If seen from space, it might even look like a giant eyeball staring into its star. But Proxima b isn't the only place we can search for life. Because thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Star Trek Fleet Command, you have the Con Commander. In this epic free-to-download open-world MMO game designed for desktop and mobile platforms, you can command a starbase on the front lines of the iconic Star Trek universe. You can construct fleets of your favourite ships, recruit legendary officers, and pursue your goals of expanding territory, exterminating rivals, exploiting resources, and my favourite part, exploring strange new worlds, allowing you to create your own epic cosmic experience. And recently, brand new content has been added, with the first stage of the Star Trek Enterprise arc, where players will explore plotlines from Season 3 of the show, bringing new officers, new missions, and new features such as Wave Defense, which will have you teaming up with other commanders to defend against waves of enemy hostiles. In this feature, collaboration is the key to success. So join me and become a part of this thriving community of galactic explorers by using the link below or by scanning the QR code on the screen. And for new players, use the promo code WARPSPEED on the Star Trek Fleet Command website to unlock a free content pack which grants a player 10 epic shards of Kirk. Are you ready to join the fight? Download Star Trek Fleet Command today. How much of the planet this ocean covers would depend on the amount of salt in the water, as this would lower its freezing point and allow it to extend into colder regions. But even if it has high salinity, with a thick atmosphere and a strong magnetic field, an ocean is possible according to these simulations. And if the right ingredients are also present, then Proxima b could theoretically host life. If we look at the Earth's Dead Sea, for example, microbial life has found a way to thrive there, despite a salt concentration above 30%. So, it's not impossible for salt-loving life to likewise exist on Proxima b in this scenario. The simulation also revealed that thick clouds on the star side might act as a massive umbrella. This could help to deflect even more of the star's radiation. And with a combination of atmosphere and ocean circulation, warm air and water could move around the planet, transporting heat to the cold side, keeping the atmosphere from freezing and creating regions that maintain liquid water, even though those parts never see light. 
Of course, although this research is exciting, it doesn't tell us whether or not there actually is any atmosphere or water on Proxima b, or even if it ever had any. But if the exoplanet formed very wet, then there is a possibility that water still persists. It may also have started out further away from its red dwarf star and slowly moved closer, providing protection from powerful flares in its early days. While conditions on Proxima b are certain to be very different from here on Earth, alien life could exist beneath such exotic skies, and they could see a plethora of landscapes, such as frozen wastelands, rugged mountains, parched deserts, or oceans from horizon to horizon. Only time will tell what strange and wondrous forms life might take under the angry glare of its red dwarf star, if it can of course exist there. If Proxima b is suitable for life, then it could also mean that the galaxy is teeming with similar worlds. After all, red dwarf stars are by far the most common in the Milky Way. Scientists think that 20 out of the 30 closest stars to Earth are red dwarfs, meaning that any life living on planets orbiting these dull stars might be the norm, and that maybe we are the really strange aliens. As it stands, however, Proxima b has never even been directly imaged, and the information we have on the elusive exoplanet is very limited, resulting in a lot of speculation. But with powerful telescopes, we will get our first glimpse of this strange world. The James Webb Space Telescope might be able to detect an atmosphere, and there are even plans for tiny swarms of laser beam pushed probes to be sent to the Proxima Centauri system, possibly arriving there by 2075, a journey that would take humans aboard a ship several thousands of years to achieve. But the most exciting way we might soon be able to see Proxima b is via a new ground-based telescope called the Giant Magellan Telescope, which according to its website will be one of the most powerful ever built on Earth, yielding a resolution four times greater than the James Webb Telescope. It is still under construction and is estimated to receive its first light in 2029, but when it does, researchers predict we will be able to see Proxima b for the first time, possibly even receive a brief film of it orbiting its star and even take spectra of the planet to look for biosignatures in any atmosphere it might have. So the future is looking exciting when it comes to our closest exoplanet neighbour, Within the next few years, we may finally be able to answer the question, pushing aside once and for all any speculation of whether Proxima b really is a world capable of life, or whether it is just a sterile rock we should finally look beyond. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did then please tap the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.